Today we are talking about Butter syndrome, Gittleman syndrome and Liddell syndrome. The common feature in all these three syndromes is hypokalemia. Now we can quickly revise all three topics. Butter syndrome, common feature is hypokalemia and the additional feature is hypercalciuria and there may be mild hypomagnesemia. There may be deafness and the associated channel is Na plus K plus 2Cl minus. So in Butter syndrome there is hypokalemia, hypercalciuria mild hypomagnesemia, deafness and the associated channel is Na plus K plus 2Cl minus. Now, Gittleman syndrome, common feature is hypokalemia and it is more common than butter. There is severe hypomagnesemia and the associated channel is Na plus Cl minus. Okay. So, in Gittleman syndrome, there is hypokalemia but there is severe hypomagnesemia and the associated channel is Na plus Cl minus. Now, Liddell syndrome also called pseudo aldosteronism because there is hypertension and there is hypokalemia it is common feature the associated channel is inac in collecting duct due to the overactivation of inac there is more water in drain so there is hypertension and hypokalemia the treatment of little syndrome is amyloride okay so we can quickly recap the three topics Butter syndrome, Gittleman syndrome and Liddell syndrome. In all the three syndromes, there is hypokalemia. In Butter syndrome, there is hypercalciuria, mild hypomagnesemia, deafness and associated channel is Na plus K plus 2Cl minus. In Gittleman syndrome, there is severe hypomagnesemia and the associated channel is Na plus Cl minus. In Liddell syndrome, there is hypertension and hypokalemia. The striking feature is hypertension and there is inac overactivation in collecting duct. Treatment is amyloride. Butter, Gittleman, Lidl. All three are very very important topics. These are frequently asked topics. All the three topics are repeatedly asked. Please revise it carefully. So see you in next video. Tata.